I'm about to board a flight to London. But let me tell you about how I was almost scammed first. <laughs> I booked a round. All right, ma'am. Yes, so I'll be assigning you a seat. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. So, do you want me to go ahead and confirm this flight for you? Sure. Yes, please. Uh huh. Yes. In that case, uh, the total amount that has to be paid is three hundred and fifteen dollars ninety cents. Um. Would you now help me with the card details you would pay with? Sure. Give me one moment. Let me grab my wallet. I booked a flight round trip to London and back. 690 ish dollars. Okay. Pretty good deal. Not too bad. Not too bad. I tried to book, like, check in this morning so I can reserve a seat so I could sleep because it's a red eye. And I just can't check in. I can't check in, right? So I, I, just, I just decided that I was going to call and see what's up. This lady says that I can't check in unless I pay another $300. And I just did it. And now I'm thinking, was that a scam? Like, did this lady just take $300 from me? Did the, the prior reservation, was that a scam? Am I gonna go to the airport and be out $1,000 and no flight to London? I don't know what's going on. Okay. I'll also send you your boarding passes alone. Alright? Okay. In my opinion, Rebecca, don't do anything until you go to the airport. If, by the time I go to the airport, I'm gonna be the, I'm not gonna be able to get on my flight. Hello, ma'am? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm nervous to pay for this over the phone, uh, so I think I'm just gonna go to the airport and try to figure it out there if that's okay. Um, ma'am, I'm so sorry, but by the time the flight would be cancelled. I understand, but I'm already trying to assign you the seat and, uh, you know, there are not many seats left, which is why I couldn't give you the, you know, the window seat. I understand. I understand that. Um, but I'm, I think I'm gonna take my chances because I'm nervous to just pay over the phone. Bye, Becca. Bye. So far, no one has said anything about the size of my backpack. I just really want to get through without paying for luggage. Editing Rebecca here. Listen, I've been checking my credit card and so far no charges. So while I fully gave this person all of my credit card information, nothing seems out of whack yet. I'm gonna keep an eye on it and then if something goes bad, I guess I'll just cancel the card. But trust me, it seemed legit at first and then I just started getting suspicious. Even right now, I don't know if it was a scam or not. I Like I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Now that everything is settled, I'm really hungry. So we're gonna eat this meat stick. Even though I'm craving a salad. But I'll have to wait till I land and I get to Neat Burger to grab one. I wonder if airports in London have more vegan options than New York City airports do. These things are a real expectation versus reality moment because I'm sitting across the street from London Bridge right now. Like literally, it's right there. I'll show it to you in a second. But as soon as I started filming, they decided to work this machine. Um, so enjoy that. I'm waiting to pick up some keys for the place that I'm gonna be staying at. Uh, but the person who's supposed to give me the keys doesn't get off work until a few more minutes from now. So we're just chilling. Check out the bridge. As soon as I got off the plane, I was so hungry. And next to the luggage was a Huel vending machine. Huel makes like meal replacement shakes and they're usually like not that great. But I haven't tried them in a few years and they're vegan and they're like nutritionally complete. It's like a drink that's a whole meal. So I was like, you know what? It's probably the healthiest thing I can get right now. So I bought one for like $5. And honestly, they've really improved. They stepped up their game. It's so thick though, it's like almost drinking chocolate pudding, but it was delicious. And it's good enough for breakfast for now until I have time to find more food. I actually have a headache, so I might grab coffee after picking up this key. And then we're heading to where I'm staying to drop off my stuff. I've got the keys and now we're getting coffee.
All right, babes, the eagle has landed. Also, the eagle has completely forgotten her little converter thing, so she can't charge anything. Um, so I gotta go buy one of those as quickly as possible so I have electricity tonight. On top of that, Meat Burger is currently having a photo shoot at one of their locations and they invited me to just like swing by. Hopefully they don't wanna take any pictures of me because I look like I didn't sleep last night. But I could use a salad. Some greens sounds delicious. I've just edited a TikTok. I'm chilling here until it's time to meet up with my friend for dinner. Do a little voiceover, do a little edit, you know? Just get a little work done. So the New York City Meat Burger now does brunch. They have a couple different breakfast sandwiches, like a basic bacon, egg, and cheese, and a burrito and stuff. And then they have chunk steak with yo egg. And you can take your little chunk steak and dip it in the yo egg, even though the chunk steak also has like a sauce on it and has a couple tater tots on the side. This is the basic bacon, egg, and cheese. It comes with nothing, but you can like get stuff added to it. It's pretty good. The bacon they use is fantastic. But I wanted to see how it would be like if I added the steak to it. And honestly, this was the move. I mean, would that be pricey? Yeah, probably. But I like to experiment with my food because I eat for a living and I'm used to eating a lot. So it's fun. Uh, the burrito was also delicious, but much heavier than the sandwich. Then, when I thought it was over, I realized they did chocolate stuffed pancakes. And they're square and mad thick. So, like, they're full of the chocolate, so when you cut them open, the chocolate just, like, oozes out. And it is so freaking good. So, one of my favorite fast food places ever. Actually, no. I think they're my favorite vegan fast food place ever. Now has brunch. Bye! And that's how it's done, kids. Hi! This is Lucy. I mean, y'all have met her before. We've been in videos together. But we're at Knee Burger right now in London, where Knee Burger originated. Oh, hi. Thank you. Ooh. And, uh, oh. We're getting buffalo chicken nuggets. That's oh, that's cute. You. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, my mouth is watering. Thank you. Thank you so much. OK. Anyway, so because like I'm I work with Kneeburger a lot, they give me a card that lets me like get food for free. So I'm like, you know what? London's expensive. I'm gonna bring the card here so I can eat food for free. I forgot the card in New York and I'm so mad about it. Number one. But number two, we still got food because we're really hungry. I got a Rebecca's chicken Caesar salad wrap. Obviously. Which is smaller here, so we're gonna see if it's any good. And then we got buffalo chicken nuggets. We got Churros, which they don't have in New York. We got pumpkin spice milkshakes, which, so which are so cute. They don't have in New York. And then loaded fries. And now we're eating, because this is my first real meal all day. Editing Rebecca again. The person I was supposed to meet at Neat Burger doing the photo shoot ended up mixing UK time with US time, like dates, like flipping them the day and the month back. Long story short, we, she thought we were meeting on Tuesday, and I thought we were meeting Friday. So I still might go hang out with her and see them at a photo shoot, but just that evening did not go as planned. We're getting groceries. We're at Waitrose. Lucy says this is like, kinda? Wait, is this one that kinda like Whole Foods? Take me to the vegan stuff. I've tried. There's a whole like row of like vegan instant meals here. And what is this? Oh, that's a burger. It's like a little veggie burger. We got sausages. Look at this. Isn't this insane looking? That is a crazy looking bacon. It's honestly also, like the prices two aren't that bad. That's what I'm saying. Like this is $2.90 for sausages. I mean they look a little interesting. These are amazing. Oh, they're, they're also delicious. Oh my god, I thought it was expired because it said 9.10. But it's this is the UK 9.10, which is 10.9. <laughs> Groceries. I got too overwhelmed to shoot while we were in the store, so I'll just do a haul later. Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Lucia, Alex Creates, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex Planet Earth, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, Matt, Mariana, Andrew, McKenna, Shanta, Adrian, Dawn, Susan, Trudy, Clark, and Howie. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content. I also have a TikTok and an Instagram if you want to check me out there and merch. Always down in the description. See ya!